we are at Bucky's in Georgia, south of Atlanta, off of 75. So I forget what town this is. But yeah, there's Bucky's. Went in there to get me a pulled pork sandwich. However, I ended up getting this monster burrito called Texas Steak Cheesesteak. Texas Cheesesteak Burrito. This thing's massive. I mean, it's huge. Oh, well, y'all enjoy. All right, I've eaten two thirds of this. And yeah, the sauce that's on it is spicy. I won't say it's extremely spicy, but it is spicy. It does burn. Um, but I thought it was going to be cheesesteak, but it's chicken steak. No, it's got chicken in it. I didn't realize that's what I grabbed. But it does have black beans, rice, tomatoes, vegetables. Alrighty, it looks like the sign is missing. But that says Warner Robins. We are at Warner Robins. And let me zoom back out so I quit jerking around here. Go in just a little bit here. At the Bucky's. There's elusive. So at Bucky's. And just touch base a couple things here. Um did not know that Bucky's has Tesla charging spots, but they do. Um, Bucky's has also ethanol free. Let's see here if I can zoom around here. Yep. And you guys can see that there. Ethanol free at selective pumps. So you got Tesla charging ethanol free um and burritos chicken burrito chicken steak chicken cheese steak burrito i can't even say that correctly and regular cheese steak burritos uh they had other burritos vegetable burritos in there veggie burritos uh dog walk park areas all kinds of different things here at bucky's there's barbecue pits that you can buy. You can buy uh, fireplaces, uh, outdoor fireplaces, fire pits. Um, get all the words right. Not getting everything right. But anyway, yeah, so there's a lot of things here at Bucky's. Um, pretty definitely, definitely a unique place. Uh, I do recommend a lot of people to always stop. I am not one that's a believer in Bucky's 100% due to the fact that too many people park at the gas pumps and go inside and they're inside for an hour. Because, yeah, the smallest stores, I think, 60,000 square feet. So you got a lot to look at in there. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't believe in pumping at, get, sitting at the gas pumps. But I am a, a firm believer in going to Bucky's for other reasons. Um, their food's not bad. It's a little on the expensive side. That burrito was $8, so not too bad. Um, it's about what I would pay for a uh, Chipotle burrito or a uh, Freebirds. I prefer Freebirds over all of them. Freebirds burritos are the best. But yeah, uh, Bucky's does real good on their barbecue sandwiches. Um, they have an excellent flavor to them. And let's see here. And they're cooked just right. Let's see. What else is there? Not much of anything else. Uh, and this is Warner Robins Bucky's, South of Atlanta, Georgia, off of 75. Uh, looks pretty, pretty new. So probably maybe a year old, two years old, somewhere around there, or or newer. And of course, they always post all the wages up on all the gas pumps and everywhere else. No, trying to get people to fly. No experience needed. You can be just a little redneck and uh, go in there and say, hey, I just want to stop the sales and that's what you get to do. And make $18 an hour doing it. Um, or you can be the general manager and uh, make $150,000 and no, walk through the store like you own the place. No, actually they I've met a couple of them. They're, they're really nice people. No, they're, they're definitely unique in their own way. Um, the, uh, but yeah, they, they, the Bucky's has a real good mentality towards it. And don't take anything I say as a negative because I wasn't trying to be that way. But uh, it was definitely 
well worth going in there. Peace, love, and jelly beans, people. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and dislike, and like again, and notifications bell. There you go. Damn, I already forgot that one again. All right. Peace, love, and jelly beans.